Hello guys. Sorry I've not uploaded a video in such a long time, but uh, my original save became corrupted and I pretty much didn't want to start again. So that was it. I just thought I'm done with this. But uh, recently I found a bit of motivation to, to sort of build again. And this is where we are today, Coast Guard Pier. So this is, um, this is a Workshop Anywhere build. And it's kind of just, it's a trade hub basically, but it's part of a, a bigger collaboration with other builders that we're going to sort of do along the way. So I'll, so I'll talk about that like later on the date, but this, this hub basically is going to be where traders kind of pull in with their trucks, they load up their goods. There's a dock at the back of it where, you know, so sort of shipping comes in and there's a hotel in the center where they can sort of stay short stays and it's got amenities and other things inside. So, so yeah, it's, it's, it's my usual drunk, junky, um, you know, type settlements, everything's scrappy. Although this has been not without its problems, um, due to it being workshop anywhere, it's kind of like, it's laggy. It's, uh, you can already see the frame rate's pretty bad on it. And, uh, I've had to sort of dial back the decor basically to try and get it to run. Okay. I had a lot of crashes and things. So, um, so I will try and, uh, I'll explain things as I can, but I want to, I want to kind of keep the video short as well. Well, not too long because it is quite a big build. Um, so yeah, so which way should we go? Uh, we'll do the hotel last. So this, this is where the staff that work in the hotel will, uh, sort of live. So this is staff only through here. And these little caravans are, it's one of the places that I've kind of sort of cut back on the old, uh, decor with really. I mean they are decorated but just not as much as I did do before. So yeah, trailer little little trailer park homes. I do like these and uh I've tried to sort of squeeze bathrooms in as many of these places as I can now just to kind of keep it sort of realistic that they actually do have like a fun fully functioning houses. Um but just not as much clutter as I normally have. This guy that lives here it's kind of got a junky theme going on this guy's like a bit of a hoarder and uh i wanted to sort of make make it look like all his furniture is all sort of made out of scrap and things and and again just not keep it too cluttered so i've kind of used some mods and things and combined it stuff or made some of my own stuff combined with the mods etc and uh yeah kind of works though his bathroom's a real shithole <laughs> his showers sucks he's got no privacy on his toilet he can sit on the toilet and watch his uh his barbecue cook nice and i kind of made like a little distillery out of a fridge and some barrels and things there so again he's keeping with his sort of homemade uh furniture theme there and this this hut i like just because uh it fits with my catwalk well i didn't fit i actually really had to like line that thing up but <laughs> yeah, i like the way it's kind of now finally fitting with the catwalk it all joins up and this is again like a real sort of basic basically at home very small kitchen little storeroom up there he's a bit of a slob so again sort of homemade furniture and then the bathroom through there again basic shower wipes his ass on newspaper how lovely But yeah, so I'll try to keep, kind of keep it basic as I can, really, without it like lagging too much. So that is, we'll go that way. We'll go the other way, actually, there. It's better to show you more through here. So, so sorry if I'm moving a little bit quickly, but I don't want to take this video over, over 10, 15 minutes if I can help it. So yeah, so the trucks come in here and load up. They've got these cranes that help put all the uh, freight on the back. Um, everything sort of fits in and then um, all these bots uh, sort of help move all the stuff along again because it's a workshop anywhere I don't know if you know this but NPCs just do not work in these places so I've had to kind of use these these statues to sort of represent what I want them to do otherwise the actual NPCs you can spawn them in but they just stand like gimps and do nothing so uh, so yeah so the cranes load the pallets up and the robots move the pallets along and etc etc that's how it all works um, the docks down here is where everything actually comes in. Most of the stuff comes in down the river. I've got the vehicles, but the vehicles are purely for like sort of convoys protecting the traders when they move along the road. So like this one, for example, is a buggy. So it's, you know, obviously more nimble and faster than most of the other cars. Um, so he kind of like goes along, scouts the place out, checks what's what and uh, checks for roadblocks and other ambushes and things. If they do find them, I've got heavier vehicles this area is where we store the big rigs and i know you guys like the war machines so um this is a new war machine design 
I really wanted a reason to use these uh, this this cockpit basically uh, off the uh, forklift truck. So I was just waiting for a reason to sort of use that really. But uh, yeah, it's a tank with uh, the forklift slot sort of glitched in and a generator, as you can see, barrels, other uh, sort of factory parts added in. You can pretty much see what's on there. It's got flame turrets, as you can see. Let's switch from the flame turret there. Um, yeah, standard flamethrowers, etc. But yeah, I know that so everybody likes these war machines, so. But this just does have a valid reason because you know this this thing going down the road it's gonna it just mows roadblocks out the way blows a shit out of raiders so and all the big trucks will sort of drive down and park in here and that scrape on the floor i didn't actually put that there um i just tried to line the tracks up so it looks like this thing has been in and out a few times and damaged the floor so it looked quite cool anyway moving on so we've got a radio tower so this tower is what sort of contacts pretty much most of the other trading hubs that are going to be on this trade line and uh, you know talks to the vehicles etc lets them know what's what at the back of the building we've got a uh, surplus store so the traders can you know resupply weapons etc pick up new ammo um, I really like this, this this hole in the wall I didn't put that there that was actually there on the original build but I just like the way that the vendors kind of slotted in here again sort of makes it look a bit a bit like it was sort of meant to be like that. Uh, Mr. Gusty runs this place. The evidence room again was already here, but uh, I've just sort of filled it with bigger, bigger heavy weapon really. And I just added this cage here that's got uh, access to the actual main hotel. It's got a little prison. Anybody that fucks around, although this guy has clearly been forgotten about. Um, but I, I kept the, you know, I kept the decor fairly light, you know. I, didn't go overboard with it just because, again, I don't really want to have to uh, take out more important things. So I just took out some of the decor that wasn't needed. Still, I like the uh, the front shop front there. And then here we've got like everything comes off this crane, gets loaded onto these pallets. These robots move it along. All happens quite smoothly in my mind, but <laughs> and then the uh, the the traders that are coming off the boats. Um, I thought it'd be quite cool to have like someone capitalise on you know the fact that these guys are probably hungry and thirsty. So this this van's kind of pulled up, and he's taking uh, advantage of the caps that are coming in from the from there. So I wanted to build like a little mobile food truck basically, and uh, this was probably I think about ten different builds that eventually came to this this actual design. But uh, yeah, I'm happy with this one. Um, I think it's quite cool that it sort of looks a bit like I don't know. Like a little bus that's just, or a shanty bus, I don't know. Run by a little robot. There's a lot of different parts involved in that. You'll have to pause it and see what's what, because I can't even remember what I've used in there, to be fair. Another vehicle here. So this is the trade uh, sort of entrance, basic. So all these trucks and cars are driving down through here. And this one is... Um, well, you can see kind of like a muscle car design is what, I, what that's what I was going for. I wanted a very like American looking sort of Mustang type thing, and uh, I think it probably turned out kind of roughly how I wanted it, but it's just ugly. It's just really, really ugly. But I, I wanted it square and angular, so and I've used uh, anything square that I could possibly find to try and make this thing look, you know, very like sort of Mustang masculine looking. This is just a little uh, repair shop, basically. Robot repair, possibly repair the vendors uh, that are here on the, on site, and others that have been been brought in. And then this way goes back into the uh, staff area that we were in just. And onto the hotel. So the hotel itself, um, so the building was originally there. The, anything red brick was pretty much there beforehand and the rest of it I just added. Um, I quite like the way this has slotted in. So when I saw that vendor stand, I thought, oh, that, that, that shape looks familiar. So that looks like I've really like cut that out, but it just happens to just fit perfectly in there, the way the booze sign fits between those bricks. Um, and because it's obviously on the dock, it's got a bit of a 
bit of a nautical theme going on. So you head into the reception area. This is where you buy rooms. I did have signs and like not neons and stuff, but again, just kept crashing. So I fuck it, took it out. If you want to sit inside to the bar, you're greeted by this lovely lady. I actually quite like the uh, the drinks cabinet. That worked out quite well. And the fact that you can be able to like, obviously this bar is open so you can just shut it out at night and lock it all. But then it's all locked away. There's a little entertainment lounge, pool, pool table, pool cues. Arcade machines, you know, things like that. And then the staff kitchen. Again, I kind of have it like automated. There's bots of who are working through the night. Um, but yeah, not really fancying this guy's food, to be honest. And that leads down to the... Um, what do you call it? The... The weapons area. Just goes back down through there. And then once you've bought your uh, your room from these guys, you go through this way basically. And this is where the customers would go. And then this was already here actually on the settlement. I didn't actually put this in, um, but I just I've just kind of incorporated and made it into a staircase. You could, I could have took it out and put stairs in, but I thought it looked quite cool as a ramp. And uh, you've got like straight away, got a little through the through the night, round the clock chem stand. Get chems anytime you want to satisfy your addiction. Actually, I'll, I'll just show this while I'm here. So coming back down. So the uh, the keen eyes among you might have noticed this wall's a slightly different colour than the other walls. So I figure, yeah, like in Fallout, the most valuable thing other than caps probably would be food. I mean. Let's face it, food is even more valuable than caps. So this is where they store all the valuable stuff, the food, the drinks, medical supplies, etc. And uh, I just thought it would be a, a cool way to get sort of a secret room made out of a, 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 tra a trailer. Slide in there. And then the rooms up here. So these are the rentable rooms. So you've got sort of... Middle of the range price rooms, which really do suck. It's not exactly five star. Got a toilet, got a bed, what more do you want? And then uh, if you're on a budget, 10 caps a night, I'll get you this piece of shit. <laughs> no, no toilet in here, you're pissing in the cup basically. But you know, what do you expect for 10 caps? And then uh, employee only area, which is, this is basically the guard area. So the guards can get access to the catwalk through there. Um, the roof up the ramp through there this is a little uh, gun mounted turret area so they can sort of protect the, uh, the compound from this side I actually was quite happy with this catwalk um, I, I wanted to be able to get to each of the guard posts sort of in one walk but I also wanted it to be sort of like all different levels and uh, lining this up was a bit of a nightmare but it actually I'm quite pleased with the way it looks the fact that you can go from one guard post to the other and walk along it all with these planks you can pretty much see the whole of the the whole of the compound from here And then with the VIP room, you pretty much, uh, you get your own power armor storage area, which is like just personal to him, whoever rents that room, which is actually me, basically. <laughs> you get a private elevator up to your up to your penthouse. Two days of stairs. And get these lovely views as you go up. You can actually see, look how, uh, how much stuff I've taken out of the surrounding area because <laughs> uh, I just wanted to keep the frame rate as low as possible so all the trees yeah, they got they got taken out and then uh, this, yeah, this is like this little loft space kind of thing this is typical sort of if you've seen any more of the work uh, this is typical sort of my kind of living areas I, I love these little cosy places so 
this is basically built for me really um, I made these little um, gun cabinets so you've got your own personal gun cabinet little wardrobe you can normally see through this glass but it's a funny uh, funny time of day now so you can't quite see it but basically yeah, all my clothes are hung up in there and then uh, probably the best bathroom on the whole lot an ensuite bathroom, bathtub drinking water no working mirror but you know a bit of ego massage there who needs to be who needs to see yourself when you you can be told you look nice today and then it's got its own little terrace which i love this little terrace a little roof garden and that's why i love the terrace look at that riverside view i suppose looking from up here actually you can see it is quite big uh, so but I've seen much bigger much bigger settlements than this uh, without as much hiccups as I've had along the way and although it's running smoothly now as I say it's used because I've took a load of stuff out it was heavily decorated um, way more compared to this than it is now so to me this feels quite like a real dumbed down version I don't actually I don't actually like it that much anymore <laughs> but um, but yeah it had to be done just to get it from stop it from crashing I, at one point I couldn't even save it every time I tried to save it would just uh, it would just take me back like 20 minutes um, so yeah, I kind of had to you had to do it, but I think uh, I think what's left with it now is still conveys the idea of what I was trying to do, uh, albeit with no NPCs and not as much detail as I'd like. I suppose I could have done things like that, put cigarettes in the <laughs> in the dirt. In fact, there's a few missing. Where are they gone? There was there was some cigarettes turned up and like stubbed out in the uh, in the dirt in that flower pot. Anyway, this has gone on too long now, so I'm going to cut this video short now and uh, leave you with the uh, the like button. If you like it, please hit it. And if uh, if you want to see more, so I am kind of back now and I will be building more. So please subscribe if you like what you see. And um, and hopefully this project that I'm sort of working with as well will be uh, one day fully finished. It's probably going to take a few months to be fair. Um, but yeah, watch this space and, and keep watching. Thanks, guys. See you soon.